when Thurgood uh, meets his next clients, um, I knew, okay, he was the last two people we're going to meet in the film. So I said, okay, well, we, I could cast some local actors and they'd be great. But it felt like a missed opportunity. So then I thought, oh, I could just call some celebrity friends of mine and do like a cool cameo. And I pitched it uh, to some people. They were like, oh, Reg, don't call them. Everybody calls them for the celebrity cameo. Don't do that. So I went back to my office. And I said, OK, don't go shiny, go deep. So I said, let's have Trayvon Martin's parents come. So I, um, I called. Benjamin Crump, who's their attorney, and fortunately I knew him. And Benjamin loved the idea. I mean, Thurgood Marshall's a giant inspiration for him. Uh, he said, no problem, and I'm going to be in it too. I said, oh. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to play Z. Alexander Luby. And Z. Alexander Luby was sort of the Thurgood Marshall of the South. And Thurgood always said if he ever got in legal trouble, he wanted Z. Alexander Luby to represent him. And in fact, one time in Columbia, Tennessee, Thurgood ended up in the back of a police car, uh, which was being driven to the woods. That is a one-way journey. Mm. Uh, Z. Alexander Luby followed the car and got Thurgood out. So he saved his life at least once. So I thought it's very important for Z Luby to be in the film as well. Uh, so we just did it. Uh, and it was very heavy because they're sweet, wonderful people. Lovely people. Right. And but obviously, they have a ghost, right? And the entire cast and crew felt it, and particularly Chadwick, because he had to perform as opposite them. And he had to say the lines, I'm going to help you save your son. And he knew he couldn't. And um, so it was, <clears throat> And it was when Reggie mentioned this, the, the beauty of doing an independent film like this is we didn't have to consult with anybody. We just did it. We brought them in, and we did it. I watched the movie with my son, who's 25, and we got to that moment, and he, damn, that's Trayvon Martin's parents. Like, you know, really. You know, there was another ending written. Remember that? Yeah, but that, I knew that, that wasn't was the ending. On, and, and, mm -hmm. and I have to say, and Reggie, I agreed with him wholeheartedly. He said, no, this is about triumph. This is not, the, the other ending was more ambiguous about him, you know, going on and his, on his journey and what it meant. This, is, this was about triumphant. And for me personally, and I know for Reggie, there's something about the triumph of the human spirit that we don't get enough of. And that, that really was a motivating factor.